This is the Watchman, given another clarion call. Well, friends, history was made this week when yesterday, June 30th, Greece became the first Western country to stick it to the IMF on a payment of 1.6 billion euros, or over 1.8 billion dollars. Greece is now officially in arrears. So barring some miracle, like the success of the Indiegogo campaign set up to raise the 1.6 billion euros on behalf of Greece, which has reached a whopping total of roughly 600,000 euros, this default is the real deal. Greece has also become the first nation within the Eurozone to offer a referendum as to whether or not the people should accept the Troika's terms and reforms. But what will be on that referendum? Just what exactly is it that the Greek people will be voting on? Well, for those who haven't read it yet, here is precisely uh, the, the group of words, the 68 words, that the Greeks will read on their ballot on Sunday. Quote, Greek people are hereby asked to decide whether they accept a draft agreement document submitted by the European Commission, the European Central Bank, and the International Monetary Fund at the Eurogroup meeting held on June 25th, and which consists of two documents. The first document is called Reforms for the Completion of the Current Program and Beyond, and the second document is called Preliminary Debt Sustainability Analysis. Those citizens who reject the institution's proposal vote no, or those citizens who accept the institution's proposal vote yes, end quote. Now, let's be clear. Even though folks like Jean-Claude Juncker have said that a no vote will mean that Greece is saying no to Europe, that's just absurd bankster propaganda to sway the vote before it even happens, okay? Because that's what they do best, right? Remember how they scared the Swiss into not repatriating their gold? A no vote doesn't mean an outright no to Europe yet. In fact, quite contrarily, uh, Tsipras and Varoufakis have said that they intend to file an injunction to stay in the Eurozone after their, de- after their default and that legally they can't simply be kicked to the curb. Uh, technically, they're right. Well, Syriza may plan to keep their country in the Eurozone for now, but Europe's elites and bankers have plans of their own. After all, powerful people have been stung by Syriza officials, and hear me, these bankers don't just want to influence the upcoming vote. You've got to understand something. In the minds of the pro-Eurozone elite, this upstart bunch of folks at Syriza have thrown a monkey wrench into everything. Now, other, much larger countries know that they too can stand up to the Troika. Furthermore, they've got their model of how to play their cards and hit the ECB in Brussels where it hurts the most. Syriza has embarrassed and humiliated a seemingly all-powerful technocratic swarm of kingmakers. Kingmakers who no longer possess the mantle of invincibility. (laughs) Oh no, this isn't just about swaying the Greek vote. This isn't even about recouping the lost billions thus far in the ELA. This is personal. Brussels would love nothing more than to pressure, humiliate, and destroy Syriza in that same fashion. Now, Now that this monumental embarrassment has taken place, they may feel that they have to crack the whip twice as hard to regain any meaningful face or influence in whatever time this system has left. Now, how will they do that? How will they crack the proverbial whip? Well, at this point, keep in mind, they also have to keep the ECB afloat. Remember, the ECB is on the hook for tens of billions of euros. Uh, that they've injected to keep the Greek banking system reasonably functional. The only way the Greek banking system hobbled along these past three years was through direct intravenous injections of vast cash via the Emergency Liquidity Assistance Program, or ELA. So that begs the question, Now that capital controls are firmly in place, will Europe's elites subject the Greek people to the ultimate bankster weapon, the bail-in?
Will depositor haircuts take place in order to recoup those ECB losses now or later? That is the question. Diesel Boom has said that Cyprus was a template for these situations, and we know that Europe has codified the future use of depositor haircuts for banks. So will they or won't they yet? Well, think of this. As much as the bankers would love to take their thousand pounds of flesh right now, we must ask ourselves, is this action of an immediate bail-in the most desirable outcome for Europe's bankers? I submit that it's probably not, at least not yet. I think the most desirable outcome for Brussels and Berlin is for the two proposals to be accepted, either by the Greek state itself or by the Greek people. Now, there are now early indications that Syriza is opening up to most of the proposals that have been made. Whether or not they're serious yet, or this is another stalling tactic, remains to be seen. I think that Brussels would rather try to restore some normalcy quicker than the referendum timeline of July 5th. If Syriza is open to most of their proposals, then a bail-in scenario might possibly be averted for a little while. The ECB knows there's more than one way to skin a cat. If Syriza doesn't back down, and a no vote seems likely, at this point, remember, the polls suggest a no vote of uh, 57% or so, then Europe could use overt threats of larger depositor haircuts as the ultimate weapon to both humiliate Syriza and sway the vote. Now, Syriza has had fairly strong support in, in the Greeks, and thusly, in order to break Syriza properly, the ECB needs to break the Greeks themselves. For instance, Zero Heads has, has crunched uh, some interesting figures, and it appears that it's been stated by Bloomberg that the size and intensity of the bail-in could depend upon whether the Greek default is, quote, orderly or not. Now, that's very interesting. What does the word orderly mean? Well, Though we're not sure yet, as each day passes and even more of the ELA cushion is burned through, the crucial element seems to be how quickly the terms of the IMF and Troika are agreed upon. That's likely to be the key consideration as to the orderliness of all of this. The default is going to hurt Greeks. The only question is, how much will it hurt? If it is orderly and the terms are agreed to quickly, then a much smaller haircut would likely be uh, an, an eventuality that would be imposed, since the amount of collateral needed would be somewhat less. Remember, though, this bail-in weapon is Europe's ace in the hole, their nuclear option, the ultimate leverage. But it only remains leverage so long as it's not used. Okay, the moment it's used, the leverage is gone. But while it's unused, it's key in influencing both Athens and the Greeks. Now, figures of 75% or 90% haircuts would equate to you know, 37% or 55% losses to virtually every Greek bank account or pensioner. And that has a powerful psychological effect. A bail-in is leveraged if it's not used. If Syriza is willing to play ball and accept the terms offer, then a later bail-in of a smaller percentage could be used at that point to recoup some of the ECB's losses. If Syriza does not play ball and goes ahead with the referendum, then the bail-in is still powerful leverage for control, as the Greeks can be reminded of their growing haircut with each passing day. We can already see the no vote slipping in the polls in Greece as this realization starts to set in. Now, I expect the pressure to mount with higher deposit haircuts floated each and every day until Greece has given in. This isn't just about Syriza or Greece now. Remember, for Europe, it's about keeping the other pigs' nations in line. In the minds of the banksters, Cyprus may be the template, but Greece's fate must be the warning to all others contemplating such resistance. Oh, 
And by the way, <laughs> this Greek episode has reawakened an enormous demand for physical silver. In fact, in the last few days of the month of June, over 1.2 million silver eagles were sold, finishing the month with over 4.8 million ounces. <laughs> and as impressive as that is, the real question I can't seem to shake is, how many ounces did India <laughs> locked down just this past month. Ponder this. It's likely a larger total than all the Silver Eagles sold this year so far. This is the Watchman signing out. Stay vigilant and bring the fight to them.